Hey guys, this is Scotty with Trek Bike Store in Victoria. Today we're checking out the Wahoo Kicker Bike. Beautiful. Okay, so uh, we just received some of these bikes. This bike is built for the cyclist, the indoor cyclist. It is designed to blur the kind of lines between outdoor and indoor cycling. So it's probably gonna be the closest thing you can get to your amazing super bike indoors. How do they do that? First of all, the fit. So this is basically a bicycle. We've got a regular road bike handlebar. If you wanna trick it out, you can put like a carbon aero bar on there. Why not? You can change the stem, which you don't really need to do because you can slide the front end of the bike forward and back to adjust your reach. You can also adjust your height up and down, your stack height, which is pretty cool. Same on the back. So you flip this out, you can bring this back. You can bring your saddle up and down. Pretty convenient. One thing I like about that is there are numbers on the side so you can get your measurements off of your bike, transfer them over to this bike. And let's say, you know, you're spending a fair amount on this bike, you could share this with a partner. You know, if you were maybe not always riding together, you could probably use this bike for more than one person indoors, which is pretty good. You can also change your crank arm length based on where you insert your pedals. Standard 9 16th thread, so we can put any kind of pedal on. We've just got these on for a demo today, but put your favorite SPD or look or whatever you want in there. Water bottle cage positioned pretty much where your actual water bottle is gonna go. That's smart. The other amazing thing about this bike is it's it can be set up so it's electronic shifting, similar to what we would think of on our DI2 bike, or you can mimic a SRAM ETAP bike. So if you've got that bike out, outside that you're racing or you're a regular riding, you can mimic the exact same shifting on this bike. It's got a little display screen here that shows you what gear you're in. So whether you're in your big ring or small ring, you can set it up a two by 11 or a one by 12 or whatever you want. So it's, it's basically a DI2 indoor spin bike. Super cool. First impressions, I mean, I haven't done a lot of riding on this, honestly, but you get on it and it is like, can you hear it? It sounds a bit like a Tesla. It's like super quiet, but it's got that kind of Tron e-bike, I don't know, e-car kind of sound. The faster you go, the more it sounds like a crazy, super, I don't know, it's amazing. And if you live in uh, an apartment or something, your neighbors aren't gonna hate you. If you have kids at home and you're maybe spinning close to their rooms, they're not gonna know. You're not gonna wake them up. Pretty sweet. One of the really fun features of this bike that nobody could even think of possible is you can change the incline. So I can go downhill and I can go down to a max of 11% downhill and up wheelie mode. Woohoo! 20% incline. I should probably be in my big ring, hammering it out up this hill. But yeah, super cool. And of course, with Bluetooth, this bike is gonna pair to your favorite indoor training app like Zwift, and it's gonna do that automatically for you while you're climbing up, you know, the hills or down the hills. So your bike's gonna be going up and down just like you would in real life, amazing. So yeah, quiet. I think there's uh, infinite potential for wattage power output on these. I mean, they're probably in, a, in the 2000 watt range, which for most of us is pretty good. I know there's some, maybe some BMX racers that want to go higher. <laughs> so that's basically it. That's about all I know. I haven't spent too much time on this, but yeah, if you want the ultimate indoor spin bike, I think this is getting pretty darn close. Thanks for checking out the video. This has been Scotty with Trek Pro City in Victoria.